Hello, my friend. I greet you with the whole mountain community, which of course is the trees and the leaves and the beautiful day that we have here underneath brother sun shining upon us, moving as the sun does, or as we think of it, rather as the earth moves with brother sun. The great movement of our earth and all the planets and the celebration of God, the cosmic dance that happens as we join each other in the celebration of this month, the Feast of St. Francis, October 4th. He intuited a deep unity that you and I have, and not only proclaimed it then, but gave us a way of life, a living of it, that is foundationally and fundamentally the gospel of Jesus Christ. In its simplest manner, it is becoming friends. As John says in his chapter 15 of his gospel, I no longer call you servants or slaves, I call you friends. And this was Brother Francis's disposition towards his own brothers and sisters. We see this in St. Clair in her amazing service of both the women in her community and those well beyond their monastery in Assisi. So I greet you as members of that family wherever you are, and invite us to consider in our own way prayerfully during this time of the Feast of Francis, how we might too be bearers of the good news of the gospel, bearers of a renewed friendship, always being reconciled to the deeper way in which we can join each other in the authentic love and care that has been given to us by the God who has made the sun, the moon, and the stars, and everything around here to find its way with each other, to be one with one another. Francis wrote to his earlier brothers, since you speak of peace, all the more so much should you have it in your hearts. He continued, you have been called to heal wounds, to unite what has fallen apart, and to bring home those who have lost their way. To bring home those who have lost their way. To unite what has fallen apart. To heal wounds. All the more from our hearts if we are speaking peace to our world today. May we take time in these beautiful days of autumn or however you might be finding this day for yourself uh, during this Feast of Francis when he wrote his canticle before he died of the incredible relationship of sister and brother, each creature, we would say each moment, each sense of being God's expression here on this earth and indeed in the whole cosmos. And that wherever we're aberrant from that or broken, that we might be healed and that we might call others back. And we might find a home for others in our midst. And we might find new ways of living together. Francis called out for that and he did by practice, by living that with his own brothers. So may we as sisters and brothers in these days, as I sit here on the mountain, enjoy the beauty of what's around, be, be um, struck by its glory, invite you to the glorious celebration of this feast. Know you will be in our prayers these upcoming days as we celebrate your presence in our community. Though you are one with all of us here at Mount Irenaeus, as I greet you for all of my brothers and sisters, a very special way too with Shannon Specht and Greg Nekamali, Greg has been doing our, much of our work and video for quite a while and Shannon too, and the thoughtfulness of others who want to expend, extend the good news with me. Peace and all good. Blessings of joy. Pax et bonum. Be still and know that God is abiding in us now. Peace.